Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you a new section of the Family Search app that just got implemented this week. Um, it's kind of a cool little fun section and I'm excited to show you guys. So first off, you're going to want to get the Family Search app. So you'll want to go to your Play Store or your App Store, whatever it is in your world, and you're going to search Family Search and it should pull up the Family Search Tree app. This is what you'll want to install on your phone or your tablet or whatever. <laughs> For me, it's already installed, so I just have to click open. But I'm actually going to go back to my home page. So this is my home page. Up here on the top row is a white icon that says Family Tree. This is actually the Family Search app. I know it doesn't say Family Search. It's weird, but just get used to it. <laughs> So once you click on the app, it should pull up your pedigree, and we'll take it from there. So this is my pedigree, or my family tree, and sorry for all the blurs, I gotta keep my family life private, so please work with me. But we're gonna go up here to the top left corner, and there's this three little line icon, and we're gonna tap it. And now it's pulling up a list of things you can do here in the Family Search app such as look at your pedigree, um, ancestors with tests, temple ordinances, uh, search historical records, um, relatives around me, map my ancestors, messages, and my memories. We're actually going to do the map my ancestors, so let's click on that. So right now it's saying for best results turn your location on. You'll actually want to turn your location on. If you hit cancel it'll just immediately close this part of the app and take you back to your family tree and so you have to have your location on. So now that I've clicked OK, now it's just showing you a picture of the world map and you could be like, yep, here's the United States and Canada, here's Europe and Africa, and here's Russia and China and all that, <laughs> and then back to North America. Um, and down here below are some names, which you've kind of noticed will go away when there's not any icons on the map. See, they'll say no ancestors for this reason, region. But if you go back to the United States, it brings up some names. If you just click on the little gray bar and drag it up, it will actually show you more ancestors and you can scroll through and look through all the ancestors that have to do with well that are shown on the map um so yeah if you want to collapse this some you just hit that little gray bar and then drag it down and it will be collapsed some but you can still go through while it's collapsed just not as many names <laughs> so so you can do this in two different ways. You can either just do the two finger drag or spread out and zoom in or you can click on the number like this 20 plus maybe <laughs> and it will zoom in for you and bring up more information. So let's try hitting this 10 again and see what it pulls up. So we have Looks like one ancestor up at the top, six things about another ancestor or ancestors, um, and then a 10 in this other section. And it all seems to have to do with this Hugh Warnock, William Warnock, Adeline, and Charles, Alice, and all of them. So, so you can do one of another couple of things. You can either click on if the section that has just the one ancestor, like the picture. And it is pulling up their information. So this is actually where Charles was born. Or we can go to like his death. And now it's taking us to the location of his death. Or you could click on his burial. Which is the same place as the location of his death. Or click on his birth. And now it's bringing us back to where he was born. Which is kind of cool and fun to see all this. Um, especially when they have like a bunch of places where they moved around a lot. You're like oh my gosh they went from here to here to here and here. Um, if you want to see the really cool places, 
or about the city and location, you can actually hit this little Google icon. I don't know what it would be in iPhone world, but here in Android world, just hit this little Google icon. And it's now pulled up Google Maps and it's like, hey, do you want directions on how to get to this city? And now you can get directions to get to that city. So let's hit the back arrow. When you're done looking at one ancestor and you want to look at a new location or a different ancestor, you just come up here to the top left corner and there's this little green, well, little white arrow in the green bar and you click on it. And now we're back to the step before. <laughs> so another thing you can do is pull up this little list of people down below and you can click on the random person be like, okay, let's look at Adeline. And we can see that she was born in India, Indiana and did five other things between Iowa and Nebraska. Um, so once again, you can click on the little blue dots and it'll bring you up closer to those sections on the map. Or we can sc scroll up <laughs> on her name and see the list. So we have her birth, which is actually in Ohio, not Indiana. She was close on that line. <laughs> Then next we could go to like her residency and her childhood. See those. And we can click on the five and bring up more more details on the map. So residency was in Nebraska. She had another one in Nebraska. And then another residency in Can in Kansas. And all those other residencies. She actually does Umba Death, which is interesting. And then once again, if you're done, you just hit the back arrow and then take you back to your last step. So I'm going to zoom out and go to a totally different area just for the fun of it and play around a little more. <laughs> so, do this New York one. So this New York, we have a couple of things. We have Thomas and we have Sorts and Poulsen and Orson Morel. So we could do Thomas and see what he did. And actually, I could tell you he did stuff in England. So here I'm from birth, he's got England. We can click on the four, four and zoom in. Still not quite zooming in all the way. That's interesting. Click on the three. Two. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now we have the birth. And then his christening was just down the street. Um, more residency here in England. Is there any other residency in England? Nope. We have immigration. So he migrated to Utah. It says Utah's not even pulling up anything in the background. That's hilarious. Um. Where else did he live? He lived in Idaho. We had three things in Idaho. Click on the three. Oh. Oh, did you see that? So if I clicked on the three, it said he had a burial in Idaho. And it's lit up in this gray bar down below. Clicked on it again. And now it's showing his residency in Idaho in 1880. So that's once again the gray bar down here. Or you could see it up there, the little pop-up icon and I clicked on it again and it's pulling up a new residency it's not giving me the year but it's still this little gray bar down below so that's interesting I guess he did didn't move from this Idaho spot <laughs> so interesting so a couple more things that you can do here on the map is up here on the green little bar there's this little eye in the circle can click on that and now it's just saying hey do you want to you know show direct line ancestors or do you want to show satellite view a hybrid view train view whatever you want to see um, so back arrow you can click on the little magnifying glass so you can go through the list of people who are your ancestors or you can search let's say Ruth and now it's pulling up Ruth and we can go yep I want to see this census these things about Ruth 
and now it's pulling up all the information about Ruth. Then the other thing is this little dot with the circle plusy thing around it. I don't know what you would call that. You can click on that and it will drag you exactly to your location. So I'm not going to click on that because I don't want to show you guys where I live. <laughs> but you can click on that and it will show you exactly where you are. So that little blue dot with a circle around it, the dark blue dot with a circle, that's where I live and it will bring a more magnified view of that. So this is just a fun little section here on the Family Search app where you can see where your ancestors are from or where they what they've done in the last few hundred years <laughs> and see where they traveled and stuff like that. I hope this information was helpful to you guys and you guys have fun playing with this section of the app and learning more about your ancestors. If you have any questions, please comment below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, if you have any suggestions on what I should film, please also comment below. And I hope you all have a beautiful week. Bye.